Rhino, you're like relatively new here, right? So, mm, uh, but you're I also guess. like an active listener, so. Did you just dox him? Um, I guess. I said Rhino. Um, so <laughs> you would know that this is we we start it with like the clap sings. This is how we start our episode. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so that the video and the audio isn't actually messed up, so it looks better. We gotta clap in time so that it, we, I can okay. link it up. Okay, ready? So we're gonna do right. it in at the same time. Okay. Yep. Okay, guys. I is it, when I say the same no, look, time, he is, I mean he is the same clearly, time as me. Look, boys, the strap. All you have to do is just clap constantly, right? Until no, because then I can't link it up. And then it's gonna be one who cares? clap. That's it. Who cares? It doesn't matter. It's fine. Just if everyone I... start clapping, can't just start, just, just start. It's a start live studio audience. Sporadic moments. What's up with airplane food? <laughs> oh yeah. Airplane food is actually supposed to taste worse because your uh, taste buds aren't. Yeah, because your taste buds die, don't they? I just said well, that. You know, apparently airplane food is has stuff put in it so that it makes you constipated. Um, and, yeah, that, that doesn't seem make, that makes reasonable. Sense. It's so I, everyone doesn't rush to the toilet. Yeah. Actually, one of my favorite things on an airplane is just buttered rolls. I don't know. I really yeah. like buttered, buttered rolls, rolls for no reason. It's actually, actually pretty, like good. Yeah, the buttered rolls are like legit. I don't know why I like them so Like, much. whenever I go out, like, buttered rolls are great, but I would never see myself just getting a plain roll, putting butter on it, and eating it. I mean, I think my go-to meal is usually just a croissant, because I'm boy, basic. You're a French boy, are Wait, you? do you have but a, um, do you prefer yours cooked or uncooked? I, I have no preference. I like it either way. No preference? Yeah. I I think, like, cooked with, like, ham. It's really good because it's like it's cri- it's crispy, but it's also like not. It depends on the time of the day. Depends on the country. Depends on the <laughs> Wait, country. What do you mean on the time of the day? You can have a croissant well, whenever. Lunch, the well, yeah, aren't gonna well, I do, if it's lunch, then I'll put ham or something on it. If it's breakfast, I put jam on it. And if it's a midnight snack, I'm obviously too lazy to put anything on it, so I just eat it as it is. Croissants as they are great. I actually don't think I've like had proper like jam in a long time. Yeah. Proper jam? Jelly. When was the last time you had a peanut butter jelly sandwich? Never probably. I had five I had like a whole loaf's worth over the weekend. Which is okay. probably very unsafe. <laughs> yeah. How how many Honestly, slices of yes. bread is in a loaf? Um I don't know. Is it like twelve or like ten? Um, it depends on how thick you're cutting the bread. Just like regular sandwich. Well, you can buy loaves. Uh, uh, yeah, you I can also buy the sandwich bread. It's cutter. probably like twenty. Twenty slices. Twenty. 20 slices. You know, I should know this being like you know in a baking family, but I don't. I think so, like uh, sixteen would be a max. In my um, if I had yeah, if I had to guess, it'd be sixteen. Even then, like that seems like quite a lot. Yeah, it's like, probably seems like too much. I'd say fourteen, fifteen, something that ballpark. All right, then I'm gonna. Be oh, do we do we cast the butts of the bread or not? Uh, yes. Do you guys slice. eat the butts of the bread? I do not eat the butt of the bread. I don't. Pre- Ew, you I leave it for someone else. Starving in Africa. Okay, look, I don't care. Okay. Do you want to ship this bread to them? You can if you want. <laughs> there are also homeless people. Yes, indubitably. Yes. What have they got to do with anything? Oh, well, like... why are we focusing on African children? Isn't that just Because Africa's just a go-to... African like... people starving? Yeah, I guess, like... But, like... Yeah. <laughs> I just wasn't gonna go any further. Like... Okay. It always is just, like, a go-to for anything. Like... Oh, you can save starving Africans. 
Mm. Some Adam. Well, I mean, speaking of starving people, what do you guys think about YouTubers and YouTuber merchandise? <laughs> you, dude, I can, everyone what can you tell that you're, you're about not, like, starving regular. people. <laughs> well, I clearly, YouTube clearly, is starving. I, 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 I don't think so. I think they're actually perfectly fine. Why do you think everyone's live streaming on Patreon now? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Look, Elon Musk, you said this. Okay, I just want to add That's because I like. YouTube. I have to be multitasking, or I, I like think of myself as wasting time, which I definitely am. I was playing eight ball pool, and like I was down like five nil, because I I wasn't paying attention, and then my that, opponent that straight up scored. I don't think it scored five nil. No, like they got five uh, balls, and I got none. Oh. Amazing. And then the idiot just like potted the black ball, so I won. Nice. Good job. Uh, yeah, so YouTube. That's right. very right. interesting, thank you. Thank you you needed to know about your whole story. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, yeah, because I was like, whoa, this is so awesome. It's the first game I've won on 8 Ball Pool. That's cool, I guess. I don't I think really it is. I wanted but... to switch over to Samsung phone. Sa Wait, what? Samsung? Well, like, I, I wanted to switch over. Yeah, it's arguably better. I know. Android's yeah, right now. Really it's blow up, I don't, I don't care if it was like one time with one phone, but Samsung phones blow up. But, alright. <laughs> they explode. Speaking of like stuff blowing up, like you remember when like those fake hoverboards were like the future? Yeah. And then literally like three months later, nobody cared about them. Well, that. That's things exploding while they're charging, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I matter. Just they go kaboom boom. boom. Much. Like and now nobody is using them. Like. I mean, some people still use segways. Yeah, some people still use them. Like it's an actual. What would like like a uh, form of transport? In what would actually be cool? Like using one of those fake hoverboards or like an actual segway. Um. um. Because at this point, like, if... probably the segue, I think if you use a hoverboard, you'd get bullied. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably. You'd get bullied. bullied. Yeah, maybe. He'll just kick you off your, um, <laughs> yeah, bullshit. Yeah. If you're on a hoverboard, they'll just kick you off your If you're on a segue, you just speed away. Wait, no, but they do, they're like the same thing. One just has handlebars. And one doesn't explode. Yeah, yeah and one, one the other one doesn't explode, yeah. If it can, if Paul Blart or Cop can do it, anyone can. <laughs> yeah, precisely. I haven't actually seen any of the movies. <gasps> Wait, I, you've never seen Paul Blart Mall Cop or Paul Blart Mall Cop 2? <laughs> no. Wow. <laughs> you just them. <laughs> sure. I watched, um, The Greatest Sherman. That was yeah, interesting. Yeah. I think a lot of people would get that. I don't know, I don't really remember this. Story. I didn't really pay attention to it, but alright. I... Wasn't it just wasn't it just some guy who like bought a circus and then was like, yeah. Okay. So this is guy... really cool and died and then and then musical. Also, you okay, know, so I hate to be that guy, but like I think I'm be that guy. wasn't PT Barnum, the guy who the thing is based off, wasn't he like a racist? A terrible person? Yeah. I think so. Fair enough. Anyway, I was gonna say, it's basically just about a guy who exploited people for their deformations for money. Oh yeah. Well, pretty much, yep. They have a short guy, and they have a hairy guy, and they have a girl who looks like a guy. Um. <laughs> Sick. We live in a society. It used oh, to be you? girls who look like guys, but now it's about guys who look like girls. <laughs> One's a little more. What do you, you know, think about musicals? Personally, I I, can't... I don't enjoy them. I don't think I haven't seen like the really good ones, like the Broadway shows. But um, like yeah, for the most part, by musical, do you mean like actual proper stage performances or musical like 
I mean, both movies and like and the theater. theater. Yeah. I mean, like I, would... I guess there's like I I can understand why people like them. It's just I guess not really. I don't know. I don't mind them, but like. You can make you can move the plot along just by talking. I was watching um, Les Miserables. I don't know how to say it. I'm not French, wee wee. Um, but it's like I only got through some of the start because it was just song after song. And it's like give me a break. Mm. But, uh, uh, what's his name? The guy who was Superman in Hugh Jackman, Clark Kent. No, no. Chris mm. Pratt. The, no, the one Tom Superman. Holland. Dad. Ryan Reynolds. Jake Gyllenhaal. I don't know. But so, he can't sing, so it's like... Uh, it's for real estate. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what this. It's it's very interesting, song. Rhino. Thank you. I can't do musicals. Cool, me neither. How would you know? Apparently, how? like... Everyone's loving the actual like a Beetlejuice, like uh, Broadway, not Broadway, but like the Beetlejuice theater show kind of. Tangible, sure. And everyone's like, "Wow, this it sounds is interesting." Oh, Russell Crowe, that's the guy. Sorry, guys. Hey, you know that uh, um, funny anecdote I told you about playing eight ball pool? Having my opponent dominate and then uh, them potting the black ball. Yeah. Uh, uh, who would be so stupid to do that? Oh no. Um, uh, Hugh Jackman, are am I right? No, no, Russell Crowe. No. Aren't they both the same person? Where are you yes. going with this? What? Where are, you, where are you going with this? What is your point? I don't know, I just wanted to bring it up. Um, who's your favorite actor? Oh. Hmm. Who is my favorite actor? Doesn't have to be human. Hmm. Take your time, it's not like there's people listening. I'm gonna say. <laughs> ben, ben. Old Benny Cucumber Badge. The cool guy. Right? Beryllium Crystal Salt. <laughs> yes, that guy. It's, it's sick. Sounds like very, very um, still class. Uh, the uh, Taffy, what about yours? Um, me for what? What's your? Who's your favorite actor? Who's my favorite actor? Like ever? Yeah. Tom Holland to or Ryan Reynolds? Uh, that's that's two and you. Also, like, I'm saying, judging by their acting ability, and, like, not looks. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like a great plan. Just, who do you think is the best actor? Who can do well, the said, best right? acting? Tom Holland. Or... Tom Holland. You think Tom Holland can do the best at acting? <laughs> I you mean, think that Tom Holland can do the best acting? You think? Rip Tom Holland, Spider Man got yoinked. I mean, and it's completely Disney's fault. Yeah. Like, everyone now agrees. Like, there was a few couple of days where everyone hated Sony. But, like, now Disney was just like, hey, let's get all of your revenue. Or we destroy yours, is that what I think. Give us money. <laughs> but I mean, like, Sony can make the... <laughs> Sony can make a good Spider-Man movie. And it shows. Yeah, I remember, like, 2002 or something? Even, like, Into the Spider-Verse. I mean, I was talking about my boy Toby Maguire. Oh, hell yeah, dude! I've I've seen so many people saying, "Hey, can we get Toby Maguire to play himself in the new Spider-Man movie?" <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Spider-Verse. It, 
think it was the one the Oscar didn't it? Probably, I don't watch nobody watches the Oscars. Yeah, it's so nineteen hundreds I mean. Like at this point if you wanted to know which movie won Best Picture, I can look on Wikipedia. I'm not gonna spend five hours looking at who won best animated film out of Disney, Disney, Disney and Disney. Yeah. Boomers, am I right? <laughs> Shut up, Boomer. <laughs> if you okay, uh, what is the best movie then? The best movie? Yeah. I'm gonna sound a bit like a boomer here, but my favorite movie is The Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, I pretty much agree with you. Yes. However, I have not seen the movie, so. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I've, just, I've just seen multiple good reviews and I've thought, yep, this is good. Yes, let other people decide your opinion. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because then you can't be wrong, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, obviously. How else would it work? Taffy, what, what's, your, what's the best movie in your opinion? Take your time. You yeah, know, I agree with him there. But I personally, I don't really like Turbo, but <laughs> Bro, too I... too slow. But you gotta respect their opinion of casting Snoop Dogg, though. Oh, that, that was a, that was a good choice. And adding in a remix of this guy saying, "Whoa, this snail is fast." Whoa, this snail is fast. Like. What, like, I still can't believe, like, what would that world be like if a snail entered the Indy 500? Like, do you reckon there'd be some, like, do you reckon there'd be a group of, like, turbo haters? I know, I thought the snail would have just gone run over. Yeah, like, would there be someone, like, go to the Indy 500, run onto the, like, onto the races they're lining up and just squash it? Um, I think it'd be a... Uh, quote, accident. <laughs> would it be an accident or like, would that be an assassination? No, I feel like a snot nosed kid would just get it and just like skip it across the road. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was just thinking she's there in crime with a fitness girl. Are you having a stroke? I was thinking. We were just talking about how we don't agree with your choice of favorite movie being Turbo. You know, the one with the snails. <laughs> yeah, obviously. That's the most elite one out of all of them. <laughs> Speaking of snails, do you guys also... Um, Actually, no, let's have a look. Guys, bugs. Take, take a guess. What did you... What do you think that Turbo was rated? Like, on IMDb? <sighs> I don't need to buy I'll just let you, like, yeah, out of the... Just give me I a percentage. Was percentage? Um, I'm gonna say 39%. 39? Alright, Taffy, what do you think? What do you think Turbo, the 2013 sci-fi slash sport movie? Does that count sci-fi? <laughs> it's sci-fi slash sport, and I don't know what how I feel about that. <laughs> um... Seems interesting, I guess. Hmm. What do you guys think about like Minecraft shaders? I hate him with a passion. What What do you think Turbo got on Rotten Tomatoes? Hmm. Taffy, are you okay? It's, it's a question. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just very dead right now. Did you want something? Just give me a percentage. A percentage of what? What do you think Turbo got on Rotten Tomatoes? Well, I just said not very much. I know, I said um, like 39, but it's probably okay. like uh, so 65. You, you completely underestimated Maybe. it. It's 67%. <laughs> and I, I can guarantee you, like, 65% of that is simply because Turbo is voiced by Ryan Reynolds. Turbo is voiced by Ryan Reynolds? Yeah. When everyone was saying, oh, Detective Pikachu isn't Ryan Reynolds first animated thing it's for his voice turbo oh. 
Wow. What about planes? <laughs> so I just want to say, it's like, we, we are like three days away from the sixth anniversary of Turbo's release in Australia. See, now planes is what I got 39%. Wait, what did planes, did planes get 39? On Metacritic. Oh, it got 25 on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> Uh, I think so. 5.7 on IMDb. Oh god. Still a good time, let's see what we're watching. Cars 2. Cars 2. Cars 2 got a 39 on Rotten Tomatoes. Huh? But that's like the best one. And it got a 6.2 on IMDb, which is giving me mixed signal. It's like you have cars, but they go... But they're spies. Like, but they're spies. And they go to Japan. And other things, but Japan was cool. Oh yeah, Japan was cool. I am not Japan ashamed. Japan is like, cool. This fueled my passion of like, well, the, the, like six year old me, of like, wanting to be a spy. <laughs> and I, I was like, this movie is made for me. Nobody else wants yeah. this. Cars 2 is the earliest movie what? that I can remember that I saw in theaters. Oh my god, I can't remember the first film I watched in theater. Oh god. Jeez. Uh, I don't know, I think the earliest was like some Thomas the Tank Engine movie. Because I was obsessed with that. Did you say I can't, I can't relate. I can't relate to anything since I rarely ever watch movies. What is the difference between Chuggington and Thomas the Tank Engine? Oh, well, Chuggington is so much better. In the future, of like you take a look, all of the trains are electric and they live in some sort of metropolis. However, Thomas the Tank Engine, almost all of the trains are actually steam powered, which means that they were based in a much further time where it electric. Or we, so if it's like, Thomas the Tank Engine. Okay, so Thomas the Tank Engine is pre the revolution of the trains. Yeah. Oh well yes, because there is there's humans in Thomas the Tank Engine. There is no humans on Chuggington. Oh my god. <laughs> I said that as a are, are you sure? I thought there were humans in Chuggington. No, there, there there's like it's the, literally the, the zoo owner. The zoo owner has the monkeys. The trains rose yeah, up against no the humans. humans. Oh no, wait, there is! There is! They're the engineering there's Wilson. boy! There's Wilson! Yeah. Oh, so they're they're the they have human slaves. Yeah. Okay, Wilson is like, no, not Even Wilson, Even though they're only down to tracks. Sorry, I don't mean Wilson. That's not, that's, sorry. Um, Chuggington, it's like the... The Chugganeers! No, okay, the Chugganeers are just the three main characters. Yeah, I mean, I so. like, um, the guy, okay. Is it... Is it, I, wait, hang on, do they really have, okay, I searched Chuck and Dan, and you know how Chrome has, like, those, like, suggested terms? You know, like, under this, if you go to, like, images, it's got the suggested terms. Am I getting through to anybody? <laughs> okay, well, one of the, okay, bye. One of the suggested terms. Yep. Yes. Okay. Uh, one of the suggested terms for Chuggington is Thomas. <laughs> and there's not even a Thomas character, so. Okay. Sick. Well, yeah, there's Eddie and Morgan and Felix. And oh, Linda. Eddie and Morgan, yeah. And Laurie. Okay. And, and the zoo guy. And the mayor of Tootington. <laughs> Sure. I agree. Chuggingtonfandom.com <laughs> Isn't isn't Coco like um So so the main the main character is who? Oh well it's it's there's there's no real main character, it's the main three. It's um Wilson, Brewster and Coco. No no well okay, so Wilson. Wilson's the red is uh, like is like Ash. And then Will and then uh, who? Br- Brewster? Brewster's like the Brewster seems like he's, the dumb friend. He's like Brock, and then, uh, 
And then we, okay. Coco is like the last female Pokemon character that I neglect to remember. Okay, well. also, why does Brewster remind me of like Rowley from Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Rowley? That's just what he looks like. <laughs> like, he, he seems like he's just a. Oh, uh, Misty. That's, yeah, Misty. For Coco's Misty. Oh! The, the trio. Action Chugger! What? Action. That was the train that could fly. Oh my god, I... bro! What? Action Dude, Chugger. He was amazing. Action Chugger. Bro. Was... Action Dude, Chugger. I remember it's Action Chugger. Crazy. He could fly. Bro. It's literally it's like. He fly, It's literally like kids. <laughs> like, yo, what if a train didn't go on land but went high? <laughs> do you guys do you guys remember like Ninjago and like the the gold Ninjago the the gold dragon and when Zane went gold? That was sick. Action Chugger is a super jet powered Chugger who lives in the distant suburbs of Chuggington. He is a movie actor and part time rescuer. <laughs> Action Chugger is chugging to real life superhero, always ready to help someone who's in trouble. He's a cross between Superman and the Thunderbirds. All of the other wow. Chuggers think he's <laughs> great. He is like a celebrity in Chuggington. Action Chugger has has even had films made all about his rescues. So Action oh Chugger is just the ideal male physique of trends. Oh yeah, yeah. obviously. Train evolution. <laughs> train evolution. You like it or not? Trivia. Train evolution. <laughs> Trivia. Action Chugger is kind and has a lot of patience. He stars in Action Chugger movies. His catchphrase is Chuggatastic. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if they have if they ever had drinking games. He is the only Chugger to have a theme so far. Chug, 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 chug. Okay. Well, that was a joke. Chug the in a drinking game, chug 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 And they're not even called trains, they're called chuggers, so like... Do you guys want to see something really bad? Search up, like, the gold in Jago costume, it's got all... <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> it hurts my eyes. The gold ninja, Ninjago. Yeah. Isn't the oh. gold ninja the green dude? He the green dude, except the he went Super Saiyan. Lloyd, <laughs> his name was? Lloyd, yeah. He was Lloyd. Lord oh, Garmadon's son. I saw son. like one snippet, hang on. Do you guys remember like Action Power or something? The, like, action the original power. Lego movie? No. Oh. Action Power? Hang on, I want to see it for you. Hang on. All right, guys, I'm putting something in the Discord. You need to see this. Um, yeah, Clutch Powers. Sorry, The Adventures of Clutch I've Powers. I've never, I have never heard of that. Please tell me you've at least heard of, like, Clutch Powers. Surely. No, I don't know what that is. Oh no! Oh. No clue. Was it one of the Ninjago people? Are... What? I right, sure. Uh, I just can't hear you guys. Um. Well. Um. So, what's your guys' favorite movie? It better be the Lego Movie Two. If it is not the Lego Movie Two, then you are wrong. Damn. Okay. Um. What are some other really bad kids Those... movies? Like... Yeah. Okay, you guys are dropping in and out. Okay, I just, I, I, I guess I can't uh, hear you. Okay. 
Wait, what? Okay, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Podcasts. hang on, wait, okay, I can hear you guys now. Okay, guy, can you hear me? Is he just dying? Okay. This yeah. is a catastrophe. Sparta. Okay. Do you know the 2003 um, film, The Cat in the Hat? Yes. Yes, that only has a 10% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> This is a war crime. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Dude, Cat in the Hat was so bad. Daddy Daycare got 28% on Rotten Tomatoes. And the sequel, Daddy what Day Camp... What the hell is Daddy Day Camp? What? Hang on, first off. Daddy Day Camp, the sequel, has a 1% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. 1%. Um, actually, the cat in the hat has 9% rating. Oh. Okay, so, out of these selections, which, which is the best movie? Repeat them. <laughs> yeah, you can say them. No, no, out of the movies that we've looked at, which of these are the best? Which, which is the best? Can you repeat them? Just the one, okay, well, the ones that we talk about. If you don't know, just listen back. To the podcast. The Lorax. Like cars to planes. Garfield. Cars 2 is the best. Cars 2 is the best. Garfield. The Dictator. What is The Dictator? It's um, a comedy film. Yeah, it's, it's a bit yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Why are there so many bad kids' movies? Is it just because nobody thinks that they'll notice? Marmaduke. Oh, Mar- Marmaduke. Like, guess how decent I haven't watched it. But, like, it has a 9% on run. <laughs> oh. Sorry, thank you. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I'm assuming that run to mine is like the lower the better. Or the lower the worst. Yeah, the lower the worst. The right. Nile has 12% on run and tomatoes. Tomatoes. The highest movie. Doesn't the Nile Job mm-hmm. have like a sequel? Yeah, the Nile Job too. Not you, I nature. <laughs> <laughs> Why would someone make that as like a subtitle? Why would anyone name a movie The Nut Job? What did The Nut Job 2 yet? It got 50. Oh man, Cats and Dogs, tomatoes. let's go. Cats and Dogs, The Revenge of Kitty Galore. Uh, oh, Cats and Dogs. 17% on Rotten Tomatoes. That was like a really bad spy. Dude, Kitty Galore. I haven't heard the, that term in ages. Oh, okay. the original Cats and Dogs. <laughs> oh, got a 53% on Rotten Tomatoes. Hell Cats yeah. Cats Dogs 2 13%. I just said that. I know, but like, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> yeah, look, the Revenge of Kitty Glow was lit. Like, every single movie that we've mentioned has had, like, a minimum $100 million budget, I'm pretty sure. Wait, oh, to- Toby Maguire Cats- was in Cats and Dogs 1. Cats and Dogs Supreme, it might be coming out. Hell yeah. Is that a thing? I don't want to see that, frankly. Mr. Tinkles Returns is an upcoming 2019 CGI live action film. Dude, what is this? I've never seen the cast for The Lorax. It's Zac Efron, Danny DeVito, and Taylor Swift. Yeah. I've never seen that. Danny DeVito plays the Lorax, Taylor Swift plays the female girl. And Zach and Zac Efron, Efron plays whoever the hell Ted is. You know Ted, he's like the talking teddy bear. No, I've never seen the Lorax. We're gonna wrap it up before we strangle <laughs> Taffy. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want to fight me about it or something? I've never seen the Lorax. <laughs> you haven't seen anything, dude. Like, you can't say anything. And he watches anime. Yeah, you have an anime profile picture. So, you don't have any. Yeah, anything. dude. Well, actually, I changed mine, but as Baki's too busy to change it, so still people anime. yell at him, still yell at him in the chat, yell at him. It's it's not Shito Gang anymore. It's uh, it's Ozemaki. Okay. So um, suck on that nerd, Fire Force, hell yeah. Uh, Rhino, any closing words? Um, Cars Two Wrong. is underrated. <laughs> Wrong. Okay. Um. Taffy, let's show him how it's done, right? <clears throat> Taffy, skate fast. Know, 
No. <laughs> <clears throat> Taffy, any it's closing early. words? Um, skate fast. Make sure you eat your grass and bass your bass and flask your hydros. I yes. Yeah, <laughs>